um, let, let me just, uh, that's, that's fine. We go concept, which is that, uh, maybe can we create a new slide presentation? Okay, fine, fine. Uh, Vigo concept, there is a O1, uh, this per fixed time, which is represent mostly uh, to uh, very, very fast. I mean, whatever the, the size of the collection is change uh, or element is change, your algorithm doesn't change. Your algorithm of the efficiency doesn't change. So it's at that time, you will call it uh, fixed time or O1. Uh, if it's dependent with the size, with the time, which is linear, uh, linear uh, efficiency, which is that O O M. Uh, if uh, the efficiency, like uh, um, too, you know, uh, too fast or too low, I mean, too slow. I mean, sometimes depend on what kind of, um, I mean to space, uh, degree of the space you, you present for. For example, if uh, sometimes the time to uh, the efficiency result with um, login, which is, you know, in order to, they, they will be effect too fast. I mean, for example, 100 of login is less than, less than seven. A thousand of login, I mean, I'm talking about two base the login, right? Uh, if thousand of login is uh, 20. Uh, so if, for example, if you're trying to, you know, use a thousand element, uh, you, you, you're trying to certain, doing the certain operation, if the algorithm gain login time efficiency, it means they will be accomplished time 20 times, uh, but the size of the, uh, the whole, uh, size of the whole element is thousand. But if you're using the linear, uh, you will be uh, you will be just completely same operation with the size of the element. For example, um, 99, 999 of uh, element of operation, which is that linear time. I mean, almost as n in time. Uh, so sometimes even worse, uh, sometimes quadratic time, which is that n multiply n times. If you thousand element, you will be get uh, how much thousand multiply thousand times, uh, just after that one, have a six, one million times, right? So six zero, which is, uh, it's very time consuming, uh, if we use the, you know, uh, space, uh, it's dramatically increasing, so which is not good. So that's the reason we three time, three different kind of case we will be considered. Best case, uh, worst case, and uh, average case. Uh, what's average case? Mostly, uh, I mean, most most time they will be represented the the efficiency. I mean, that's uh, that's. Uh, uh, that's uh, we always uh, always looking for, but we also consider the extreme situation, which is that best time and bad bad case, which is that worst time. Um, so we try to avoid the extreme condition, uh, but uh, the average is uh, the neutrality of the algorithm. So that's a uh, kind of we trying to represent the uh, mathematic language to represent the ideas algorithm in general. And then after that, we also introduced a little bit quick uh, uh, introduction for data structures, Q and stick. After that, we also talked about it uh, in this third time lesson, I mean, second time lesson, we talked about it, a uh, very uh, fundamental data structure, uh, link list. Um, link list compared to array list. Uh, link I mean, we we distinct we uh, we try to distinguish in between the the relationship. There is also has similarity, so you better to. Uh, I'm not going to digging um, go back to the two data structure, but it's very fundamental data structure will be used at all the semester using derived the different kind of uh, data structure as well algorithm we will be apply for. But 
uh, yeah, that's a uh, link class and I realized. Uh, I realized this for, uh, it's useful for only read only. Uh, would say when you just only the search or read, that would be better, better place to better data structure to you can use. Uh, but if you try to frequently update and delete, I mean, link less is better data structure you can use it. So that's that's kind of fundamental things. Uh, you you have to you know uh, you have to use uh, together with practice then enhance your understanding. Uh, but we we try to today uh, uh, come to the different kind of algorithm. Just pick up uh, come to the uh, we trying to let you and understand that what's the binary search efficiency because this is very extraordinary performance uh, performance uh, show show up show us very extraordinary performance in the binary architecture computer. There is no other you know search algorithm existed in the computer so far. I mean in the binary architecture. I mean, I'm talking about same hardware, same condition. But uh, but there is a, if you maybe wonder, do any kind of uh, faster algorithm existed binary search? Uh, yes, uh, which is that if you change your hardware, I mean, uh, for example, uh, quantum computer, but we are not going to talk about that. So today we are going to talk about several things. We talk about in between the, the concept search and sort. As you can say, binary is search. It is kind of one type of a search, right? Binary search. What's binary means, by the way? I am I give a, a short uh, question for you. What does means binary? So why being called binary search? Can you try to guess what's binary in this term? Two times zero or one. Yes, exactly. Because of the this is a very fun zero one binary, because there is only had two two situation. Um, they can they can consider maybe it's not zero one, but in general it's two only two situation true and false, uh, uh, good and bad, whatever. They they only do two things can represent. So that's a binary search. At the same time, the binaries, as you, uh, this is kind of a very fundamental and a very uh, good algorithm in the binary architecture computer, which is we using everyday life. So that's a binary. Okay, good. And then also we talked about the search, right? But you have to understand in between the the sort, uh, what kind of uh, relationship actually they has a relationship. So that's the reason we put together try to understand what's the sort and search in between the relationship. Then also we will be try to explain the actually the, uh, the binary search algorithm complexity. Uh, when we talk about complexity, time complexity and the space complexity, we, we talk about it using mathematical language to represent each operation. For example, how about if, if certain the uh, the algorithm will be used, uh, I mean, search, how they will be time complexity is. And then we also mention a little bit real example because you have to be related to your understanding. Then we will be explained. Then finally, if you have any question, we can talk about that. So first of all, what is the relationship in between uh, search and sort? Right, uh, because it is two two different kind of term, but uh, actually they has a relationship. Uh, for example, let's say uh, uh, before that we talk about the relationship search and sort. Let's say many search algorithm. Let's talk about many sort algorithm. I'll just give them list of the algorithm. For example, uh, that's it. For example, this is search and sort algorithm category. There is didn't there is a following as uh, i mean without uh, any this is this is alphabetic order without any kind of uh, 
consider considering any kind of criteria of bad or good, there is only the come to the alphabet order. For example, very, uh, you know, uh, let's say binary search, uh, bidirectional search, bogus sort, I don't know, so the, the search, bubble sort, diffs for search, hip sort, sort, search, linear search, merge sort, quick sort, search, I mean, selection sort, whatever. This is where we will be at last, we will be touch about the quick sort, we will be learning uh, merge sort, linear search, we will be explained today as well, because we have to compare with that. Insertion sort, we will be learning in the future, uh, maybe mention it. Heap sort, we will be exactly, we needed to implement it as well as learn it, because this is a, uh, related to uh, chi data structure. Tips first is kind of also chi data structure, and this graph is will be used. Uh, bubble sort is uh, very bad sort algorithm, but uh, this is a, a programming very efficient. Programming is very too easy, so that's the reason in uh, at the first time you're trying to learn the algorithm that that's uh, or program language. Let's start from the bubble sort because very easy to write the program. Uh, but that's the worst one, but doesn't matter, right? We try to learn first, then we understand the compare with the better one. The binary search, which you talk about that. So uh, that's those are uh, if you uh, those are a term you needed and should uh, we will be facing in the future. But let's see uh, several search. Um, uh, for example, linear search, binary search, hip is the search, right? But there's also has a many sort, uh, as I can say, the quick selection sort, bubble sort, uh, quick sort, merge sort, insertion sort, hip sort, uh, many, many sort, right? But um, first of all, we try to understand, uh, can we, uh, for example, can we, why we need to learn too much this uh, search and sort algorithm? Do you, you, because of the one dependent others, that's the reason? Maybe this question is very relevant because, for example, as I said, this is a binary search algorithm, the most um, fast algorithm in the binary architecture computer, your notebook, your, your, your supercomputer, whatever, your your hard work. There, there is only the one, the most uh, search algorithm, which is the binary search. Now, wondering if I know the only the learned binary search, I will be get the most performance. Why we need to tell the other uh, algorithm, right? So that's a that's a very relevant question. Let's see uh, <clears throat> if you remember. Uh, I mean. Uh, I mentioned it before, but uh, this is very important. Binary search has only one uh, precondition. In order to apply binary search, the 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 data source will be sorted. Uh, binary search only apply for sorted data source. That's a problem. That's a precondition, or maybe that's a problem or precondition. So. In order to gain better performance of the search, for example, I want to find uh, some element as quick as possible, right? That's my, my goal. But in order to uh, get fast algorithm, uh, in, in order to get <clears throat> find faster uh, search uh, process accomplished, I have to I have a choice to use binary search. But if I use up, if I tend to use binary search, uh, I needed to those data source will be already been sorted. All right, so that's the reason uh, search. You know, in order to do the you know uh, use the binary search, I have to sort sort per, first. So that's the reason I need to learn first sort algorithm. Then after that, I can able to apply binary search. Okay. Make sense? Uh, so, so let's say, uh, so those are have a dependent relationship because the most uh, first 
uh, search algorithm needed to first been sorted. That's the reason we needed to learn those uh, sort algorithm. Okay, so for example, many sort algorithm existed. For example, let me just talk about uh, type of maybe there should be. Come on. Um, do you any kind of list of? Fine, fine. Right. Let's see. Uh, uh, we have a bubble sort search. So whatever you take, we have to use those. We have to learn those sort algorithm, and then, and then able to use the most um, search algorithm. Okay. So in order to use this, the most algorithm, but we have to sort first. Now, next question is: If I needed to sort, which I mean, why we needed to? Uh, learn those five at last or classical, not limited to five, but the most of uh, frequently uh, teach it in the academy were the scope, which is that the five bubble and search, selection, merge, and quit. Those are, I mean, merge sort is better one, the most faster one, and the time complexities and login time. What does means is if you thousand element. In order to sort this thousand element, you will be, you know, thousand of the login is. I mean, I just want to maybe sometimes we need to create a representation presentation. Mm, I think. Gallery. No. What we need is something tools, which is that I'm trying to drive it. Uh, do I need it or any? I don't, I think I remember there's a, a second. Image, not I need text. I think I need some, uh, add on. Okay, let me just find some add on, which is that I'm trying to draw the diagram. Um, okay. Um, for example, any board. Come on. Uh, okay, fine. I, I just want to uh, take any any kind of maybe do any kind of word document I can. All right, here is word. Okay, so what I'm trying to uh, what I'm trying to trying to uh, do is, uh, for example, uh, binary search is better one. Binary search. I'm trying to use B one. But in order to binary search, I needed to sort. Uh, per condition is sort, right? But there is a sort algorithm many. Uh, for example, uh, uh, merge sort, merge sort. But merge sort is uh, efficiencies n multiply log two best n time, uh, uh, two n time, two best. I mean. Uh, to best in time. Do you understand what does means to best n? Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. So what does means if is n thousand? Okay, multiply to best n is twenty. So it is a two thousand, uh, two thousand time in order to get from sort algorithm. But there is only another sort algorithm is also, which is, uh, for example, in search and sort in. And in, 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 insert insert insertion just insertion insertion sort which is I'm, I'm a little bit confusing right no insertion sort uh, as well as bubble sort by 
Bob, marble sword. Those are actually quadratic time in square time. I mean, um, how can I? There should be something I can um, present for. All right. So that's n square time. Uh, yeah. So n square time, which is that uh, that that's a bubble sort actually. O n square time. That's a, that's a perfect efficiency. So that that's a problem. That's a that's problem of. Uh, uh, I mean, what does means is thousand multiply thousands, which is that one million, right? One million time. So if I needed to, for example, I, I, I have a thousand element without sorting. Now, if I'm using merge sort, I needed to 2000 time. If I using the uh, quick certain search sort, bubble sort, uh, the quadratic time complexity, that's the reason they needed to spend one million time to get, only get sorted. Then after that, I can use it binary search. Then only after that, I can use binary search. That's it. That's uh, my problem. Okay. That's my problem of after that binary search, after that, I can use it. Uh, because binary search is uh, log, log in time complexity, log to best in time complexity. I mean, I'm trying to use this one this way. Okay, so it means if I'm n is thousand, if is n equal to thousand, so login is uh, log uh, that one. I mean, that one actually equal to twenty, right? So, so assume that if I needed to thousand element. Uh, no, not thousand. I try to find one element. I don't care where is the location or not. Uh, I'm, I'm, I just need to spend at most 20 times. At most 20 times, I can, uh, I can find the, 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 the element. So that's, a, that's a, my interesting point. So I tend to, I just only 20 times to, to uh, yeah, 20 times to, 20 times to accomplish it. So that's problem, uh, not problem. So that's a uh, binary search need, a, need my sort algorithm, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. So I'm come back to topic. I'm trying to emphasize that's a, that's the reason. So, Binary sort, binary search is good uh, because, uh, as you can see, in order to any element in thousands, uh, any element in this thousand element, I try to find one element. Uh, um, <clears throat> so, Thousand element. I'm using the any element I find in the thousand element. Uh, at, at the most, in the worst case, I will be spent twenty times. Um, maybe this is not enough to your imagination. Let let me just give the example of uh, another example. For example, let me just find another example. Okay, there is a very interesting example. Maybe you never forget. Okay, it's been called. Uh, okay, it's been called. Um, okay, where it is? It's been the number is Google. Uh, the Google. Do you know what the Google means? I know this is Google search engine, but you do you actually the the names come from? It is a very large number. I do not remember. Where exactly? How much large? Uh, was it hundred or? Yes. Zero? After that one, they has a hundred zero. That's been called 
Uh, that's been called Google. The number's name is Google. This is big number, huge number. Uh, uh, I remember there is a one, one article actually um, mentioned the, the Google, but here it is. Okay, just I just want to find it. Um, just want to find it. Just trying to find it. Where is big number? Right, exactly. After that one, how? Yeah, right. Uh, maybe in this here. All right. Right, exactly. You know, it's uh, Google. Google is to ten of the oh, not uh, ten power of hundred. So it means not one. After that, ten have a hundred of the zero. Right. So that's being called being called Google. I mean, if you such kind of number, in order to I mean, assume that this has already been sorted. Uh, I want to find uh, one element in the 2 10 power of 100. I only need 333 times. Do you think it's extraordinary? Yes, it is. And in 1 million time element, I'm trying to find one element. I just need the 30 times. And in 10, I mean, 1,000 element, I will be spent 20 times. But one million element, uh, I'm trying to find one element. I will be just needed to thirty step. And then if I'm more than, I mean, if two, two power of, if the uh, the number is two power of thousand a uh, hundred, and I'm trying to find one element. I'm trying to use binary search. They will be guaranteed that I will be find. It. At at most, I'm saying that's quicker. Maybe it's quicker than that, but it's at the worst case is 333 times. So that's a, that's the reason you know I needed to binary search. You know, binary search is extraordinarily fast because in one in one million element, I needed to find one of them. The worst case, I just need at most 30 times. They will be definitely find for you. So that's interesting why I needed to binary search algorithm, okay? But nevertheless, I'm come back to topic. So that's the reason why I'm very interested to learn binary search. And then after that, uh, I have to, uh, in order to use binary search, I have to sort it. In order to use sort, in order to sort, I have to learn sort algorithm. That's in between the, in between the relationship, well, I mean, search dependent of sort that's the reason actually i don't need to learn sort algorithm but because the binary search binary search algorithm very uh needed to sort so that's the reason i needed to sort this uh the algorithm all right so exactly so right uh because this is a in in uh, login time performance. I mean, two best login time performance. I mean, two best. What I'm trying to let you understand, or maybe, I mean, if I'm talking about, uh, okay, the, you you sh you understand. They should be ten best, right? Two best, right? But when I talk about login, definitely you should be. Uh, you should be understand to best login. Okay, all right. So binary search, a quick one in order to uh, get this better performance of binary search. They we have we have to sort it. That's it. We need to learn those kind of sort algorithm. That would be good. Now next next one is uh, that of course we also introduced what is a Google number right to power of thousand. If I'm using the, the such kind of big number. I only needed to 333 steps. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, one billion element, just only 30 steps if I'm using binary search. But there has a precondition, keep remember, 
uh, they have to be sorted, right? Uh, always I needed to compare binary search and linear search because we have a very uh, linear search is linear time. I mean, uh, compare this one. If I'm trying to find one element in the in the one billion, and linear search worst case should be is one billion. But if I'm using the binary search, it's search just only thirty. Nobody will be use it, right? Nobody will be use it. The linear search. If I'm after that, I I know it. There is a binary search existed. So you understand. Uh, I mean, people usually. Uh, linear there's thinking, but now we need to choose, we can able to think differently. Okay, right. Now, next step is how we can implement it. So that's very important. We understand the concept, we understand the importance. Now, next step is how to write in the programming, right? So I'm trying to explain this algorithm by, uh, by the, you know, some uses some article. For example, if I have a, such kind of, uh, you know, un, unsorted uh, data source, three, four, five, six, oh, this is sorted. But uh, uh, if I, all right, actually I needed to sort it. So that's the reason this is a sorted. Then I can able to apply it. So what's the binary search actually work, right? That's really interesting. So they have a true, uh, two point. One is a lower index, one is a higher index. So what's the lower index is actually represented the uh, small value, and the higher index is the bigger value in the data set. So now what we now we have at uh, two uh, pointer. What we need to is I'm trying to find in the middle. So when I find the middle, I'm compared to uh, for example, I, I have a goal, right? For example, I'm trying to find one element, which is that four. I'm trying to find element how much time I needed to uh, find it, right? So this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If, if I am using the linear search, uh, that, that would be how much, I mean, um, you know, if I'm starting from the uh, this point, I'm trying to find this one, they will definitely linear time. But if I means in the binary search, I will be uh, not needed such time. So now is the algorithm actually, I mean, you, you need to find first the middle element, middle index, then middle element will be compared, they located right side on the left side. And here's the four is smaller than six. So that's the reason you don't need to, use the seven, eight, nine. I mean, 50% of the data source, you, you don't need it to care about it. So now is the, do you only need it focused in three, four, five, six, that's half of the data source. Now, now is you needed to update this uh, middle element because uh, you need update middle element with the higher element because nevertheless, your element is middle one, and then bigger one, I mean, you try to find this, the, the element itself is smaller than middle one, that's the reason you need to update this higher one. So that's the reason you need to update the higher to middle minus one. Why? Because you already used it minus element. So now we just left it to this three element. Now you needed to find the middle limit. Fortunately, we just exactly find it in middle. So we need to found it. So that's a simple process. So uh, that's a pseudo code. You need to find the lower and the higher position, divide two, then find it in the middle. Then you need to compare to your element, which is trying to find. If the element is, is exactly same as your middle element, I mean, this should be lucky chance. Exa I mean, then you need it immediately to return your position. Uh, but uh, most time, all the time, you don't, we don't have a lucky chance. So that's where you need to keep continue. I mean, the element itself is a bigger than middle element. That means your the element is actually located in the right side. Uh, so that's where you need to update the lower position, middle plus one, because we already used middle one. 
Uh, otherwise, it means the element itself is smaller than middle element. You need to uh, focus on left side. It means uh, you don't need to care about uh, half part of the right side element. So that's when you need to update higher position, middle minus one. So you need to keep repeating this process. I mean, you have to re remember recursive method, right? This is iteration method. We only, uh, we also can recursive, which is what's the recursive is means you need to call. If you uh, have a same situation, you need to repeat again. I mean, this is the same thing, right? So for example, this is binary search, actually the, uh, the algorithm itself. If it is a smaller one, you need to keep update the, uh, the position itself. I mean, uh, you need to change the higher position and the middle position, but only difference is if it is the, uh, the element itself is smaller than middle element, you need to update the uh, higher position. If it is element located in the um, right side, uh, it means the bigger than the middle element, you need to update the uh, lower index. So that's algorithm in the uh, recursive method. That's algorithm of if you, uh, I mean, iteration method in the loop, right? So this both are similar thing. I mean, uh, there is a many kind of implementation. We just need, okay, that, let, let's start first, you know, C++ for. So as you can see, Binary search needed to data source itself. Actually, this one should be already been sorted. Then I needed to, uh, I need this, the element, uh, I needed to find the element in the, in the area. So that's we need to uh, follow on. So this is lower index, this is higher index. You know, what, what does means I already explained. So now it's, you need this, they use it iteration method, right? Uh, which is using the while. They trying to <laughs> compare lower and higher. If it's uh, higher is smaller than, uh, I mean, uh, higher is bigger than smaller. So it means this is efficient. Otherwise this has already been done this iteration, right? Uh, now you need to find the first very important uh, term is mid index. Uh, you try to uh, add higher element plus lower element, then divide two. You will be fine this one. And then middle element, now, uh, middle value itself, whether it's equal to zero, it means that's your lucky chance, but nevertheless, this is only, you know, very small, very rare uh, situation, but uh, all the time you are not lucky. So that's the reason you needed to uh, compare the, the element, the middle element, the, if the element existed in the, <clears throat> uh, in the, in the right side, which means the, the X itself is bigger than middle element. It means you need to, uh, it means, uh, the left half of the data source will be demolished. I mean, you don't need it just goes through. So that's the reason you do the low uh, index will be updated uh, mid plus one because mid we already been used it in the previous one. Uh, and otherwise you need to update the higher index because the reverse process. If uh, anything didn't found it, that's minus one. If you minus one, it means you can't, you didn't found it. So example is that, for example, this is a three, four, five, six, seven, nine, the same example, this already been sorted, that's the reason we can able to use binary search. Now, uh, we need to choose the size of the binary itself, this array itself, the, this, that's you trying to find the element, then this is a lower index, this is higher index, n minus one. So if it's the you know, minus one, means can't, didn't found it, for example, you, you're trying to find one, they will be print uh, they say not found, otherwise they will be uh, find you the result. Uh, so that's the uh, first part. You just need to copy pass run into somewhere else. That's uh, also a good example. This is for C, uh, C language examples. This is for Java language, depend on what you're trying to uh, learn with the language. Uh, nevertheless, the same 
uh, tools, right? Same algorithm. Uh, but there is, you know, this in this example, exactly same binary search, but they try to use the recursive method, which is that function call function, right? I mean, let, let's talk about Thai simple. I mean, they defined uh, search. I mean, this, which is that your uh, your array itself, this is lower index. I mean, which is that, no, 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 sorry. This is your element itself, which is you're trying to find this lower index is higher index. Now, if you, this is a, a low, higher is always equal to and lower, it means you need to keep uh, no problem. Then you need to repeat this process. Otherwise you find this middle element. Then, uh, yeah, this, after that you find the middle element, you need to, okay, you have to consider this lucky case. This is very important. Your core of the, your algorithm, if it is the middle element, smaller than, ah, bigger than that one, it means, uh, which is definitely your element, you know, located in the right side. So you don't need it to uh, left side part of the data set. So, but you need to keep this, uh, keep this uh, function, right? This function, you can repeat, call it again inside. Uh, nevertheless, this lower index, this is a, uh, a higher index, you need to, you need a very clear, uh, very, uh, look close to look at this index. You can say this lower index is, doesn't change, but higher index will be updated. Now it's lower index been updated. So that's the uh, same, exactly same logic in this here, but know that nevertheless, they use, they use that function call, which is that recursive. Uh, that one is a uh, iteration, which is that do while. That's nothing special. Um, the complexity, time complex, best cases, uh, you know, lucky case, fixed time. That it's very rare. Average cases, login time, which is, for example, thousand element 20 times. Uh, worst case, exactly same. So very stable, right? Uh, binary search. Mm, right, so I think that that's uh, there is another article uh, try to explain with the picture. Uh, you know, if you're interested, you can uh, you can try to use this article as well. I will you, I will be upload this presentation. You can find the link. I mean, there is also binary search itself. I mean, using different language uh, that would be useful to apply it. Whatever because. Uh, algorithm itself uh, same. What are we can use in any language? No difference. Uh, depend on your uh, runtime environment. Maybe it's a, uh, for example, uh, same algorithm uh, running in the and um, Java. Maybe maybe not too fast because Java dependent the C plus uh, plus. They will be in between. They have they have a. a virtual machine so maybe not that's not the but nevertheless in general there's exactly you will be gaining the same efficiency whatever the case for example uh if you're using i mean exactly same things i mean same algorithm but uh, for example this one you're trying to run it you will be get uh i mean you even you can change it you can run it you know that's very uh good um Algorithm, what you're saying that, for example, I'm change, change it for, uh, add it, for example, 50, uh, 90, then you, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find, um, which one? I'm trying to find 19, right? If I'm trying to find 19 and then try run it. Doesn't change. Ah, I maybe I needed to log in, but nevertheless, ah, oh, I needed to save it. Which one is save? Edit, copy. 
Okay, doesn't matter. But you, you, you understand how to run it, right? But nevertheless, even you don't need this one, but you need to copy your, uh, your uh, editor, that should be fine. Okay, I think that's uh, uh, enough to explaining the binary search algorithm. Uh, they will be used real time dictionary debugging find the value sort collection figured out the resource element that's kind of visible, uh, you know real time example uh, there is also several article if you're interested you can use it now it's time to ask question please any question hello any question for binary search? It's understandable. Do you understand between the relationship, sort, and the search? Um, yes. Right? Any question, please? No questions, sir. Professor? 